The BGA 9001 Infrared Rework Station is a universal and versatile contactless soldering workstation for the alignment and placement of ball grid array devices. This station is commonly used for the rework of such devices as the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, graphics cards, motherboards and other general production BGA devices. The unit is also suitable for most plastic component devices as it offers a contactless soldering solution which reduces the risk of damage to either the device or the PCB. This system is also suitable for moisture sensitive SMT plastic body devices. The BGA 9001 Infrared Rework Station utilizes infrared heatwave technology. The unit can store five different temperature time profiles. Microprocessor controlled ESD safe unit. Versatile PCB holder. Split vision alignment system. High precision X, Y and rotate adjustment. Real time graph temperature over time digital control and LCD display monitoring, large preheater area to reduce risk of board bowing, suitable for both leaded and lead free PCBs. The SI BGA9001 is applied as two units, the main rework station itself as well as the control unit. This houses the LCD screen for the split vision alignment system, the infrared control unit, as well as the vacuum pump. The package also includes welding goggles, 70 watt soldering iron, tip with heater cartridge, soldering iron holder, heat resistant pad for quick solder tip changing, solder paste and flux. Firstly, remove the pump securing screw found on the underside of the control station. This is a travel screw to prevent damage to the pump while in transit and needs to be removed for the pump to operate correctly. On the rear of the control station there are a number of lettered receptacles that will require connecting to the main reworking unit. The three main connectors contain different number of pins so will only fit the receptacle it's designed for. A1 connects the power and control to the preheater. A2 connects the power and control to the infrared tool. A3 connects to the optimizer system. Those are the three main receptacles now successfully connected. Next we need to add the two tubes. B1 is used to connect the suction pan. B2 connects to the suction tool nozzle on the rework system. The soldering iron can also be plugged into the front of the control station. Attach the vision shield to the infrared tool and screw into place. There is also a video out connector if viewing on a larger monitor is required. Lastly, the main power supply cable is plugged into the A4 receptacle. Starting from the highest part on the rework station is the adjust ladder. This allows the micro adjust system to be raised and lowered. The micro adjust system contains the suction tool that can be rotated and adjusted in separate X and Y axes with the three standalone micro controls. The welding system can also be adjusted along its X and Y axis. Here you will find the infrared lamp or top heater, focus lock, vision shield and temperature sensor cable. Below this is the vision tray which houses the visual inspection unit. This allows the user to view the bottom part of the component projected over the top of a circuit board for correct alignment using two adjustable light sources contained within the tray. On the base of the unit is the preheater along with the PTB holders and four holding screws that can accommodate boards up to 280 by 430 millimeters. Larger boards can be accommodated by removing the holding screws. The preheater unit provides heat to the printed circuit boards and attached component prior to rework, supplying approximately 75% of heat energy during the entire rework process. The TFT monitor in the control unit provides real-time data, such as set and actual temperatures with real-time graphs. 
It can recall temperature profiles and is also used to play out the video from the vision tray. The unit power on-off switch is found on the front of the control unit. Also found are the controls for the soldering iron temperature, vacuum selector switches and the controls for the PCB IC optimizer. Using the adjustable holding screws, locate the device required for removal under the infrared source and finger tighten the thumb screws to secure the board in place. Place the thermocouple directly on top of the device to be removed, then spin the vision shield into place. Activate the infrared tool to adjust focus, which should be slightly larger than the component, then secure the lock. On the control unit, select the desired temperature profile for the device. With safety in mind, Please remember that goggles must be worn at all times when running the unit. The unit will firstly ramp up the infrared preheater followed by the focused. A real-time graph of the temperature is displayed on the LCD screen. When the device has reached its desired temperature, the device can be lifted off the board using the vacuum suction pen. Once the program cycle is complete, the board can be cleaned by using the tunnel type tip by slowly skimming over the top of the PCB pads to remove excess solder. After applying some flux remover and cleaning the residue off the board, this is now ready for replacing. Activate the suction tool and place the new or reboot device under the nozzle. Move the station so that the chip is above the board and switch on the optimizer system and vision tray. Adjust until the component image is in the center of the monitor. Adjust the upper and lower lights on the vision tray to achieve the desired split image for component placement. Once correctly positioned, roll down the adjust ladder until the component is approximately 1mm from the PCB and depress the vacuum switch to release. Roll the ladder back up and move to the side out of the way. As before, activate the infrared tool and adjust the focus so that it's slightly larger than the component, then secure the lock. Set the desired time and temperature profile and weld the component to the PCB. Once complete, move the infrared tool away from the board and turn off the preheater. Only after a few minutes when the board is cooled should it be safely removed from the holder. And there you have it, your PCB is now working again with its brand new component. The BGA9001 unit is a highly versatile, contactless soldering workstation which is ideal for a wide variety of BGA devices. For more details on this product and for all of our other systems, please visit our website.